Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. We are currently in the middle of playing as the defect, which I think is completely broken and overpowered. Somebody even said that if I think the defect is broken and overpowered, that I should wait until I find out about like a certain feature or a certain ability or something like that. And it, it sounded broken when they said it. In the last video, we made it to act two and I found out that there are four acts and I intend to complete all four of those acts. Not in, not in one video, of course, but we will get there. Bada ba boom, choose a relic. So if you remember in the last video, I accidentally chose the rune pyramid because I thought that I could take all three of these. I'm gonna go ahead and read what these do before I actually start selecting something. So you gain energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer obtain potions. I don't think we want that. <laughs> at the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. That sounds like the best option. Upon pickup, transform three cards, then upgrade them. Transformed cards become a random card of rarity. Okay, so I think I'm gonna want the Runic Pyramid. I like that one. That one sounds like the nicest. So one thing I was apparently doing right in the last video was picking the right path that seemed to get me the best results fighting getting up to the the boss i'm intending on taking a look at my options before i actually make a move and it seems like going this way would be the best and then continuing to go up because i get less elite bosses and then once i get here so the goal is to have to, the goal is to make it with the most amount of health by the time you get to the boss without having to use your rest spots. Primarily upgrading your cards is going to be what you want to do at these rest spots. So having the most health is optimal. Avoiding elites, I'm all for it. So we're going to take this left path here. Receive 50% less attack damage. Canceled if dealt attack damage three times in one turn. What? Cool. I forget what all my cards do. Gain two orb slots, double your energy exhaust. I'll start with this. Add a random power card into your hand. It costs zero this turn. I'll go ahead and deal... Deal damage to you. That didn't do anything. I'm then gonna... Add a random card. At the start of your turn, add a random power card hand into your hand. I don't think I understand what <laughs> I don't think I understand what any of these cards are doing. Oh my god. Oh. Thank you for that. 2 times 5, 1 times 5. I'm not making it out of the trenches with this one. Deal 10 damage channel 1 lightning. We're going to throw some block down. And then deal that 10 damage to you. I feel like I'm already off to a bad start here. Oh, that's going to hit for five, but it's fine. Seven, five damage is not all that bad. Damn, look at all the cards I've got. Holy shit. You're attacking for 12. <laughs> oh no! Lightning now hits all enemies, channel 2 lightning. Oh, but that cost me 2 energy. Oh, that was a bold mistake of me. But that did hella damage! This was a bold mistake, but that did really well. Okay, I should, my hand is full. Yeah, that's no big deal. No problem at all. Shit, two times five and one times five. That's not that bad. Let's go! I, I feel like I should have used that a long time ago. Remove all block from the enemy, deal 14 damage. Deal six, yes, yes. Moving on. Before you lies a decorated altar to some ancient entity. Duplicate a card in your hand. Ooh, 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 yes please. I feel like duplicating a zero cost card is gonna be the best option. 
And I think that the one that I'm going to duplicate is Zap Plus because that's a zero and it channels lightning. So if I hit him with, uh, what is it? Gain two orb slots and then channel two lightning. That's some damage right there. You kneel respectfully. A ghastly mirror image appears from the shrine and collides into you. Avoiding enemies. Hello, mother. No, this is not what I wanted to do. Fuck. Shit. Uh, removes all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then I'm gonna deal seven damage. Add a random power card. Gain one focus. What does focus do? Increases the effectiveness of orbs by one. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Not too bad. Not bad at all. Double my exhaust. Or double my energy. Deal 10 damage. Evoke my next orb twice. Six damage. Another six. Oh, that was so close. Oh, shit. And he regained his health back. That was a good play. You can't tell me that wasn't clean. Oh, my goodness. People keep sleeping on my abilities. Gain eight block, decrease this card's block by one. Gain one block, permanently increase this card's block by two. <laughs> I think that's the one I have to pick. Because if it, if it permanently increases the block, is that... Yeah, okay, okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna ask any questions. I'm just gonna take what I got and move on. I don't have a whole lot of health, and this is really bad. Oh, these guys are easy. This one's easy pickings. I don't know about this one. This one's easy pickings, though. I'll go ahead and use that. Deal seven damage. Draw one card for each unique orb you have. We're going to deal damage to you. That was nothing. Okay, I feel pretty good about that. Because if I get another Zap Plus... Yeah, one damage is not that bad. If I get another Zap Plus... What the fuck does that do? Whenever you play a non-attack card, shuffle one dead. No! <laughs> Damn it! They're going to attack for a total of 19. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's getting dicey. Ow! Ow! It's getting dicey. It's getting real dicey out here, guys. Deal three damage if the enemy intends to attack. Apply weak. You're attacking for more, so I'm going to hit you. me he got me oh my God. and i keep forgetting that i have my fuck oh i keep forgetting about these and that starts me all the way over doesn't it like from act one that starts me from act one doesn't it Shit. 
Okay. Making my way back to the city, I found that it was significantly easier getting through the first act. I was just plowing through it. I, I had a really good map, and so I picked all the like the good... I wasn't going to show that. I don't plan on showing it on screen at least. I don't know if I changed my mind in the editing process, but I have made my way back to act two. I have 87 health points. I have the toy ornith ornithopter. Whenever you use a potion, heal 5 HP. I did get my runic pyramid back. I have the fear potion, which applies three vulnerable. The power potion, which chooses one of three random power cards to add, and it now costs zero. And then I gain an artifact with the ancient potion. I also have some cards. Let me see if I can scroll through. So I ended up getting seek, which puts one card from my draw pile into my hand. The gain block equal to the number of cards in my discard pile came in really handy. I had like 10 block at one point because I had so many cards in my discard. Remove all block and deal 10 damage came in really big handy. Someone in the comments of the last video said that I do not need more claw cards in order for the claw damage to increase. So I do have uh, two claw cards. I even upgraded one to a claw plus and that came in really big handy as well. Swift Strike is a goaded card as well because this started at zero uh, energy cost. And it was already at 10 damage or no it was one energy cost 10 damage but then i upgraded it to swift strike plus and it's now zero damage or zero cost 10 damage i need to relax self repair also elite so i've been i got really good cards in the first act now i have to pick i like this path here because it's less enemies yeah all right i'm gonna go this path here I just got to be super careful about the kind of cards that I use. I also have to remember that I do have my potions. Do not let me forget. If you let me forget, I don't know what I'm going to do, but just don't let me forget. But I think I've been doing really well so far, especially when I get self repair in my hand. That card is so goaded. I'll take that. And then... Deal some heavy dablage. He's not attacking. Uh, no, no, I'm actually gonna keep that. That's, I'm actually gonna keep that. Because I no longer have to discard my cards. So my discard pile can just keep filling up. Look at that, he's he's attacking for 19, or he's attacking for 21, and I have 19 block, so he's only gonna do two. <laughs> and he may not even, oh, I was about to say, he may not even survive because of my orbs. Oh, I'm doing so much better. I feel like I've learned so much. You're dead. I feel like I've learned, and then look at that, my health goes back. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that. Gain eight block, decrease this block. Yeah, 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 whenever you play this. So the claw cards have been coming in real handy. So I think I'm gonna stick with those for a little bit when I get the opportunity. In front of you sits an altar to a forgotten god. Atop the altar sits an ornate female statue with arms outstretched. She calls out to you, demanding sacrifice. Oh no, oh no. Gain five HP, lose 22? Or gain five max HP. You know what? Fuck it. You stand on the altar and cut your wrists. As the blood spills out in sacrifice, the arms of the statue reach out and close around your eyes. Everything goes dark. You wake up a short time later, feeling a new potential surging through you. Okay. I drew blood, but I should be fine. Now, the merchant man helped me find a lot of good cards because one of the cards that I I think it was uh, Swift Strike was one of the cards that I bought from the Merchant Man. Draw two cards, put a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. Uh, deal 15 damage, reduce the card's cost by one this combat. What? Deal. Let me make sure I'm reading that right. Deal 15 damage, reduce this card's cost by one. 
Yes! Fucking yes! Whenever you receive unblocked attack damage channel one lightning, yes! It also helps that I've been keeping my uh keeping my money. Draw five cards, randomize the cost of your cards in your hand. Play the top three cards. Deal 10 damage to all enemies. Oh my goodness. If you have no block, gain 11 block. Oh, that's a good one too. That was kind of an impulsive decision. I was I was definitely gonna buy a potion, but I don't know what happened to me. There's a chance that these two could be enemies, at least one of these two. So if that's the case, I could be fighting three enemies leading my way up to the rest spot. Whereas if I just go here, oh, and then this is elite too. Okay, yeah, so if I take this path, I'm only fighting two enemies. And then I have a rest spot. And then I have what could be another enemy, but chances are kind of slim. So I'm willing to take those chances. I do not like these odds. Haha, -ha, you're mad. You hit for nothing. Oh, why does he keep gaining block? Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, I could have fucked that up. Because I need block. I could have severely fucked that up. I'm still gonna take damage, but not as much as I would have if I hadn't blocked. <laughs> See, I want to use the claw, but it's only gonna take down five of his block, and that's not even doing damage to him. Fuck it. It's not that big of a deal. Stop it with the block! Auto repair. Need that. Let's go for a seek. And then we'll do claw plus. Bop. Oh! <laughs> He's gonna hit for 18. I need to kill him now. I need to get rid of him. Nice. Okay. Boom! Boom! I don't know what that does. What are you doing? Whenever you draw a card, randomize its cost? Oh my lord! No! 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 You're an ass for that one. How long does that last? Does that last the whole game? That's wild. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm gonna throw this down because he's gonna do one damage. Yeah, okay, he's gonna do one damage to me. One unblocked damage, I should say. He's gonna hit for 22! No! I need to end him, I need to. No, I didn't see what that cost. No, I didn't see how much that cost me. Prevent the next time you would lose HP. Oh, lightning now hits two. No, no, okay. At the start of your turn. I need that. I really need this right now. I really needed that. My hand is full. That's fine. Wait, let me be smart about this. This only costs one. So I'm going to deal some damage. And then add some block. Oh, this is far harder than I expected. This is far harder than I was expecting. 
I need that auto heal. That self repair. I can kill him in one move if I'm smart. Boom! Done! Done! You're gone! You're done now! Gain five block, put a card from your hand, discard it. Uh, gain seven block, next turn gain energy. I could have another one of these though. It's all block related cards! I need this. I need this, especially with the runic pyramid. I need that. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna waste my time healing. At the end healed 10 HP. Ugh! Put two cards from your Druff Island into your hand. See, now that I have the really good cards, it's like it's hard for me to pick which ones to upgrade because they all do so good. See that the self repair being leveled up to a 10 HP would do really good. I want to try upgrading a card to something that's going to cost zero. Not this though. It, it kind of feels pointless. Seek plus is really good because it's already a zero. I'm going to go ahead and do the seek plus. I don't know if that was a good idea, but it felt right. I felt it in my jellies. Venturing through a series of tombs, you are faced with a large sarcophagus studded with gems in the center of a circular room. You cannot make out the writing on the coffin. However, you do notice the black fog seeping out from the sides. I can either obtain a relic or I can have a 50. There's a 50% chance that I become cursed with Rife. I'm gonna take that chance. I feel good. You push open the coffin. The fog dissipates harmlessly. Inside you find the mortal remains of a decorated soldier grasping on an old relic. You pilfer it and move on. Hey, I didn't get cursed. That works. Now, let's do some more upgrading. <laughs> oh, it's a tough decision again. It is, of course, a tough decision once again. I think this time I'm going to take the self repair plus. I'm right handed, so I'm going to go left. White beast statue. Potions always appear in combat rewards. Oh! Oh! Cool! Thank you! Moving on. 77 HP? Not that bad. I can handle that. You're attacking for 7 times 3? Wait. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Start each combat with an addition. When did I get that? Am I tripping? Was I not paying attention? Oh, fuck, yes. You're so screwed now. Wait, what? Upon receiving attack damage, gain five block. Block gain increases as Malibu is triggered, resets the three. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. That's not good. That's also not good. But no matter. Easy, easy pickings. You are going down, my guy. Apply that, because Lord knows I need it. Oh, hell yeah. Uh-oh. Oh! Apply three weak. Gain ten block, next turn gain... Okay, okay. I can never go wrong with these with the stack cards. But I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm gonna let's let's take this one. Charge plus. Please don't give me an enemy. Please don't give me an enemy. Thank you. You happen upon a group of what looks like purple fire spirits dancing around a large bonfire. 
The spirits toss small bones and fragments into the fire, which brilliantly erupts each time. As you approach, the spirits all turn to you, expectantly. Receive a reward based on the offer. Uh-oh. No! 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 Ah! Uh, shit. I think I know which one would give me the best offer, and that would probably be the Strike Plus, because it's such a good card. And these ones are all blue, and this one is gray. So I'm thinking that there's like a rarity system in this game as well. Probably. I don't know. Don't quote me on that one, because I'm still fresh to the game. But I think the one that would give me the best reward is a Strike Plus, but there is no way in hell <laughs> I'm giving up my Strike Plus. Uh, let's offer a stack, see what we get. You toss an offering into the bonfire. The flames grow slightly brighter. The spirits continue dancing. You feel slightly warmer from their presence. You heal 5 HP. Nice, thank you. I need that. And then this time I'm going to go ahead and rest because I really need that HP. What do we got here? No enemies. Fuck! Shit! Ow! Oh, this is bad. Oh, that's not good. You have the most HP. I'm going to try to take you down first. I'll take that zap plus and take a streamline. Okay. Mm, actually, why am I playing with my food? Just go ahead and kill this one. That way I only take 12 damage, if anything. Could have been worse. That could have been 15. Nice. Deal nine damage to a random enemy twice. I need that. We're going offense. We're going all offense. With a little bit of defense. A little bit of defense has to be applied. I do not trust the power of this, the Centurion? Centurion? I do not trust the power of that guy. Uh-oh. It seems like I should be taking the mage out first. I'm gonna save this card, because he intends to block next turn. Oh! He intends to apply block to the mystic. Okay. I severely misunderstood. No! Oh, why don't the orbs go for the mystic? Damn it! No! Okay, this battle is going on too long. I feel like... Uh... All right, come at me, you whores. Come at me. Ow. That's only going to hit for five, but that's okay. That is only going to hit for five. Oh, you attack the wrong one every time. Oh. Okay, nobody's... Nobody's attacking. Please, 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 kill the mystic already! Kill the mystic! No! No! You've gotta be kidding me! Wait, where's my... yeah. Get that shit out of here. Thank you. Um, 
And then I can take, I can take, take that, and this, why not? After I evoke this, it's not gonna, yeah. Oh! Oh, yeah! Gain one focus, effectiveness of channeled orbs. Oh, I don't know why I hadn't been taking, yes. I don't know why I hadn't been taking focus cards all this time. Now, the right thing to do would be to smith some items. But, I need the health. Yes! Full HP, baby! We're ready. We're ready. We're so ready. 420 HP! Oh, we're not ready. But you know, I got this. I'm not even worried. I'm not worried at all. I'm not worried at all. I very much believe that we can do this. I have some of the best cards. No, that was a mistake. Shit, because he's not attacking me. Okay. Ha! That was a slap in the face. A simple flesh wound. I'm gonna save the remove all block for when he has more block than just five, because boom, take that out with one. What's he gonna do? Negative effect on me? Not a problem. As long as it's just mono imano? E oh, you wanna deal vulnerable. You wanna do some vulnerable. Vulnerable on YouTube, bitch. Take that shit. And a week. Those were wasted, for sure. See, the only thing that I don't have from my last run is gaining two additional orb slots. That would have been really handy. I got him down to the hundreds. This is possible. I got him down to the hundreds. Come at me. I will. I'll come on you. Nobody clip that. <laughs> Nobody clip that. <laughs> Intends to use a buff, huh? Intends to use a buff, huh? Yeah, you know what? You might be able to. You might be able to, Busta. I have nothing that can significantly knock his block off. Sure. You've done it now! Okay! Okay! Yeah, so this is happening. My discard pile got reshuffled! Oh no! Oh no! Oh fuck me! Okay, that was not nearly as bad as it could have been. Okay. Holy shit, that was bad. What is this? Okay. I don't think that helped at all. Fuck! My heart is racing. My heart is racing. I don't want to lose this. 33. No. Uh. Yeah, why not? 73 HP. 73 HP. Face my wrath. I feel like I already have been! No! 
No! No! Where's my melter? I have no healing items. I think I'm gonna die. Please don't let it end like this. It's over! I don't think there's anything that I can do. Unless my orbs, unless my orbs come through. No! so good I can legitimately cry right now that mistake had to have come in play when I used my potions way too early I used those potions way too early when they definitely could have come in handy in that last second of the fight if I had applied vulnerable to him when he was that low on HP my orbs definitely could have ended him trial and error we live and we learn but I have been recording for far too long well, shit. All right. That is all the time I'm going to put in to slay the spire. We did not slay the spire or we did not get through act two, but best believe, best believe next turn, next run, we're going to, we're going to get through act two. We're going to get through act two. Actually, I'm going to start next video at the boss fight for act two. We're going to beat that boss and start with act three. How does that sound? That way, we're not extending the series way longer than it should be because I want to do one act per video because I know that there's four acts now. It'll be one act per video. First video was kind of just me, you know, getting a feel for the game. This video or the second video was me getting through the first act. This video was supposed to be me getting through the second act. And then the third video was going to be the third act, you know, so on and so forth. If you want to see my last video, which was Garden of Ban Ban 7, I'll have that link somewhere around here. Definitely recommend going to check that one out or the other Garden of Bam Bam videos if you haven't seen those. If you want to see my last video of Slay the Spire and how fucking OP I realized the defect is, I'll also have that linked around here somewhere as well. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy and big buddy out.